Ebony just dropped an update giving us three Ascension features for Purple Generals and an update to King Arthur. Now let's take a quick look at the uh, Generals that got the Ascension. First we got Joan of Arc. Nothing super interesting here. These stats are pretty low. What would you expect for a cheap Ascension General like this? Good for early game. Not practical once you get to the mid game, late game. But if you're start just starting out, it is a viable option to get a quick and easy mounted general. The second one that we got was Cleopatra. Kind of disappointed with Cleopatra. I was hoping that she would get a little bit more double item drop rate, maybe some stamina reduction with her ascensions. But we don't get any of that. We just get 10% march speed that's interesting. And I don't think it makes her viable. Instead, I just use Bay Bars, Fedora, or whoever else you use for your rallies instead. So nothing interesting with her update there. And then the last one we got was Miyamoto. Miyamoto, a little bit more practical than Joan of Arc, considering that most players take a little bit longer to get their ground generals up and running. So in the early game, he is a viable option to get a quick, easy ground general. I know when I first started, I used him as my ground general for a while, just before the Ascension feature. So with the Ascension, that does make him more viable for the early game and possibly into the mid game as well. You could probably get away with using him in a little bit. So that's interesting, but what we really want to look at today is uh, our boy King Arthur, who got the update. Now, they just updated the skill. As far as I can tell, they didn't update the specialty at all, and his specialties are pretty... Yeah, they're pretty They're pretty bad, so that sets him back a lot. If they'd updated his specialties as well, I think he could have been really good. But it's better than what he was. We can see the big change is uh, he gets 15% march size off the bat, which he had before, but he also gets 35% attack and defense, and then 20% attack on the first red star. So that puts his initial, like, the base skill in the first red star is up to 55% attack, which once we look at the numbers, we're going to see that's actually not bad. The rest of these, they're okay. They're about what you'd expect for a free general. Nothing really uh, too crazy at all. I did check the skill book compatibility for Arthur. You still can't use the March size book. That doesn't work, unfortunately. But you can use the mounted attack, mounted defense, mounted HP books. So those are working in... It's just the uh, the march size is not. Now let's look into the numbers real quick. And let's compare King Arthur to Roland because we know Roland is the best free-to-play general objectively. So that's kind of the bar that we're looking to clear. We got 229 for King Arthur's attack, 277 for Roland. 16% march size for Roland, 25% march size for King Arthur. So since we know that march size and attack interact with each other, it's hard to tell who has the higher effective attack until we actually run the numbers. But we can see that they're not, the disparity isn't huge once you consider both numbers, so interesting. Part where King Arthur falls behind is he has 215 defense and 184 HP. He falls pretty far behind Roland in these stats. And we know that HP is a pretty important stat for survivability. Defense is important as too, but in my personal opinion, I think the HP in most situations the numbers are going to favor hp over defense so he's going to be a little bit squishier the other thing about arthur is he doesn't really have a lot of versatility with this new update they could have used this as an opportunity to make him more of a generalist but unfortunately they specific uh made him into a mounted general only so he doesn't really have the advantage like uh Yufi does because Yuffie can lead uh, the ground troops as well. He's equally good as a ground general as he is a mounted general. So that's a little bit of utility that Yuffie has that King Arthur's just missing out on. So let's look at the effective damage for King Arthur. I didn't run the numbers for the K35 because since King Arthur's relying on his march size more for the attack, he's going to perform better in the K40 situation with the 2500% buff. So it's just going to give us a general idea of how he's going to perform. And the lower you go and keep level overall buffs, the worse he's going to perform. So we can see he comes out to an extra 82 billion damage for this march. Roland comes out to 82.8 billion. Now keep in mind for this, this number right here, that's not including the march size book. So when you throw in your books, Roland's going to get an extra 
12% March size, and that's going to shoot him up way higher. Uh, once you throw a March book on Yuffie and Custer, they're also going to pass King Arthur in terms of damage easily. Barbarossa, he's probably going to be right there with King Arthur within a couple billion, so I don't think he really has a use as a full Ascension general. Not worth investing in. Just go for Roland instead. There is a use case for uh, King Arthur, however, and the first red star. So if you only have uh, enough resources to get one general at one red star for your mounted general, or maybe for some reason you want three one star, one red star mounted generals to run a lot of rallies, King Arthur actually is viable in that situation. 55% attack and 15% mark size are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty darn nice. We can see he's higher than all the other free generals in terms of attack and march size as well. The only ones that come close is Washington and then Martinus, but Washington and Martinus also can't take the attack book, so King Arthur can. Now King Arthur can't take the march size book, but at this level, the march size book is only 12%. So that's three extra percent over these guys that have zero. Barbarus has 10%, so that'd be 22 the attack, march size disparity, it's going to put them pretty close. But since you're probably going to be a lower level if you're using this, the attack on King Arthur is going to be more important in that situation. The only ones that have a higher attack than King Arthur is Napoleon Prime with 60, 0% march size. And Andre matches him with 55% attack and 12% march size. Andre can take the march size book, can't take the attack book. So... Andre is probably going to be the better choice for a one star, but it'd be pretty close. But also, Andre is he's a premium, so he's pre pretty hard to get. And if you're looking for quick, easy generals like this, you're probably not going to have him. Uh, same deal with Napoleon. He's a premium as well. He loses out a little bit on the March size, and he has slightly higher attack. So, you know, the numbers are pretty close. They're going to perform about equally. So I think there is a use case for... King Arthur, you just want a quick and dirty one-star mounted general for whatever reason. There's that use, but that's about the only use there is for him. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty decent update. I'm a little bit disappointed that Cleopatra missed out on some potential that she had, and I think that they did King Arthur dirty. <laughs> they could have done better with this update for him, but I'll take it. It's better than what he was at before. Alright, that's my thoughts on the update. Hopefully y'all guys found this useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.